Is it harder to be a man or harder to be a woman? A man, for sure. Yeah. Well, and you're saying a man. It's you're so easy to a be man. a woman. And you're saying uh, 100% man? 100% a man. Dude, I totally disagree with you guys. <laughs> well, I'll tell you why. <laughs> why? I'll tell you why. Yeah. What do you, you said? I think it's hard to be a woman. No. I think women okay. have to also, like, if, they have to swallow certain things that they don't, like, like accept what? certain, like, if you're with a successful man, you know, a lot of the time they... But that's not true. Cheat. Again, that's why you yeah. allow what you think success is. But success is not having multiple women. Like, I'm not... Again, that's I a know. Part of it. Right, but and women go- women have kids. Women yeah. have a, a well, time that's clock. That's a beautiful thing to have. Right, but yeah, the l- thing l- is... L- a, l- let, me explain, is that? let me explain why. I'll open this up. Okay. Here we go. All three of you said men, <laughs> and, and apparently it didn't tie in our team women. Yeah. And I'll tell you why. It's because clarity matters. To be a man... It's crystal effing clear what your job is. Get out there, compete in the marketplace, Mm. make some money, bring value. Don't be a piece of shit. Don't be lazy. (laughs) Like, have resources. Get your act together. Look good. Right. Clarity. Mm -hmm. Women, go be a housewife. No, go be a strong, independent woman. No, go have kids. No, kind of have a part-time job. Be passionate about something. No, listen to your man. Which one is it? Women don't have clarity, and that is the biggest problem. Men have crystal clear clarity what the objective is. If you're a man and you don't get what you need to do, you're a loser, okay? And you're complaining in your mom's basement. If you're a woman and you're Jorita and you did kind of contradict yourself, because I'll tell you why. Super impressed. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring crypto to Albania. I'm going to do all this. Guys, I'm doing it. I'm not I know you I'm are. I'm doing it currently. Respect. So, exactly. Respect. And then after doing all that, I'm going to shut up and listen to my man. God, that's not what you I did said. You did say it, it, No, it, I did yes, not. Yes, but you guys are trying it, to twist it. But let me finish my point. We'll go to you. The point is this. A guy, it's run straight and just keep running. Right. You might have to stop on the side of the road, grab some water, but keep running. A woman, it's... Run, stop, have a baby, feed the baby. Nope, get back a career, get back in the car. Hold on, we got a door dash. Nope, you got to cook. Which one? Should I work now? Should I? But why there's do we a lot that, of Adam? unclear, un, there's not a lot of clarity with being a woman. I'm empathizing with you. Don't argue <laughs> with me. Because it's not what you're trying saying. to help you here. No, no, no. But for, for me, the intention of this show, because again, a, a majority of our viewers are, mm-hmm. are men, is so you can be more like Matt. You can be more like Derek. You can be like more like about your boy Sauce. Figure it out your life, your purpose in life, and run towards it. Mm-hmm. It's a lot harder to do that if you're a woman. Do yeah, you disagree? W- women have females, more options. They females, can be successful. Yeah, they can be they housewives. Do. Women do they can have be, more options. You know, okay. they can be. Let's go around the table individual. here. Natalia, go. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I agree with you, Adam. I think women, because especially today, like you can find any type of woman. You can find a housewife. You can find a successful woman. You can find like really whatever you're looking for. For men, like successful. In shape, you know what I mean? Provide value, leader, you know, like things like Mm -hmm. there's just one thing they're going towards, like you said. I feel like women, because we have so many options, um, we can get lost. And I think if you get too lost, you have a life that you regret. Don't get lost in the sauce unless it's on the sauce. (laughs) (laughs) Matt Sapala, go ahead. I I don't think a lot of men are clear. Mm -hmm. I don't Mm -hmm. think they are. I think they're uh, they're they're also searching. I think we're in an era right now where this these uh, economic times, the times of our country, has caused and created a lot of weak men mm-hmm. out there. Yeah, they're not providing. They're not standing up for for values and principles. They're not standing up as a backbone of their family and, and children. Things are happening to our kids where mom and dad or dad should be standing up and say, "Wait, what, what's going on here?" And yet they're deferring to their wives to go down to the schools to get it done. It actually should be the father going down to get it done. Listen, there's a saying there. It says, "When the man stands up, the boy sits down." I think too many boys are standing up today because they're not clear about what they're doing and what their, mm. ro- their roles are. I think there's a there's a fogginess about what a man today is in society. A good friend of mine, Rafa Conde, he's a, a retired cop right around here. He runs a company called Man of War. He's spoken at his conference a couple of times. I can't tell you how many men there are just confused about what their roles in, in a relationship. Mm. In, in a in, relationship or in life? In, in Well, yeah, in life and with their Essential. money, their finances. You know, And I'll tell you this, it's... There's days that I feel as a dad, as an entrepreneur, as, mm-hmm. a, a, uh, as, a, as a husband, I'm not, I'm, like, a few days ago, I was like, every, everything I was dealing with in terms of decisions, I had an L. I lost with my wife, I lost with my kids, I lost with the business, I lost with bad investment deals. What a wonderful day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I still had to say, you know, I, I'm still a man. Here's, here's another key element. Mother's Day and Father's Day. Who mm-hmm. celebrates it more? 
<laughs> Mother's Day. Of yeah. course. Of Mother's course. Day, you can't, yes. get a, you can't even get a seat. Of course. You can't even... You, can't even, you, you got a handshake on Father's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Father's Day, you know, you go to the restaurant. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Mother's Day, you know, you got to wait three hours to get a seat. Right? And Father's Day, yeah, come on. We have a seat right here for uh-huh. you in the restaurant. Because I think society has assumed that men know what they're doing and what their roles are. So, right. So, how can men get more clarity? By a... Who wants to answer that? <laughs> well, I wanted to say first. Um, a now, how woman... can men get more clarity? A woman responds. No, no, no. I wanted to say a woman cannot be clear until she has a man That's directing clear. her. Yeah. Mm. Really. So this is why most females are confused, and they're trying to seek everything else. But if you're from not, outside sources, why? Because of money. But if you're not clear, how do you pick the right man? But that's your problem. You have to find yourself. But that's the, in order that's for you the to main. Pr- that's the first thing that you have to figure out before you pick your partner to lead you. But that's not why females have it harder. It's because females are making it harder on themselves. Who is telling a female to be confused and not follow a man? Well, their father clearly, because they were not raised by a good father, and then now they do not. And society. They cannot choose a good man. I mean, you have society saying, like, you know, uh, well, then you're go weak. be successful. Then you're go weak. Be- if you listen to society, you're weak. That's all it is. You're just not being actually the designer of your life. You're just wanting to be a follower. And that's okay. Mm-hmm. This world is not for everyone. Somebody will follow. Somebody will lead. Me. But then don't blame the other people. Like, it's your fault. And how men can find clarity. Just to yeah. add on to that. How men can find clarity. Fortunately Meditation. that we're in times where people could just tune in. People can tune in, listen to discussions like this. People can, mm-hmm. you know, where information is, is flying, is, is, is quick. We have access. We have damn near unlimited access to mm-hmm. it. So, you know, uh, but my brother O'Neill, he mentioned not all lions are going to survive in the wild. Not all lions are going to eat. Not all lions are going to be, are going to breed. Mm-hmm. And, and that falls yeah. in the same way as us as human beings. Not all men yeah. are going to a, have have a family, start a family, be able to have kids, uh, be able to upscale, grow, and whatnot. Uh, adding on on why I believe that men have it harder, because men have an unseen burden on on what it is to be a man, mm-hmm. in a sense. A lot of times when men, when we take L's, we take L's hard. We take L's hard. It's publicly. Like, wow, yeah, wow, um, publicly, and embarrassingly. privately. Yeah. And you're private. not even allowed to be emotional, mm-hmm. right? Or you're not even allowed to express yourself because you're a man and you have to like put well, your yeah. men soon up. So, um, <laughs> I mean, I would say that's what that's what makes us men. Of that's course. what that's because of men course, we, 100%. we 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 grow. I believe that we grow from adversity. We grow from adversity. We grow from taking falls, scraping our knee, whatnot. Mm-hmm. It takes me back to the time when I was a kid, riding the bike, take my training wheels off, and then I scrape my knee. Mm-hmm. Two things I could have did. Went inside, cried to my mom, I don't want this bike no more. Or I could have been like, I want to ride my bike. Mm-hmm. I want to ride my bike. I see my friends riding around my bike and whatnot. And that's what, that's what grew me, and that's what made us, that's what makes men tougher. From a small scrape off the bike from, yeah. hey, this chick, this chick dumped me. Mm-hmm. Either or, I gotta get, I gotta, I still got things to get work done. Mm-hmm. Fall got, ten times, yeah. get up eleven. Mm-hmm. That's I, what I, makes I think a man. that's why men love sports so much more than women. Yeah, because they're they're cheering for a team, rooting for a team because they got clarity that their team's got to win. They got to score the touchdown. They got to score these points. And men love seeing other men accomplish that goal because they live vicariously. Through that athlete. camaraderie, I would say camaraderie, just Huge. like the military, yep. just like the military. Yeah, yeah because we, who's who's got deeper camaraderie, uh, even in the military, male or female in the military? Male. And who's got more? Who's more of a fanatical uh, disposition when it comes to sports, male or female? Male. Because who watches m- female sports? No, no, I agree. I'm, I'm with you. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Are you I guys, agree. By the <laughs> way, after this, I have tickets for the WNBA game. After this, if you guys are interested, <laughs> yeah. name five WNBA stars. I, I don't. Well, all I know is LeBron, NBA, right? <laughs> NBA, anyway, not NBA. W, w, WNBA star. Sorry. Anyway, yeah. I no, you're right. Brittany yeah. Griner, who's trapped my, in uh, this is why Russia, Russia right now. Introduced because mm-hmm. I'm like, okay. no, it's, well, I don't know anything okay, about it. Okay, so him. let's get back to this part of clarity because I still think that. Okay, how about this? Men may lack clarity, mm-hmm. but we know what they need to do. Right. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Get a career, make some freaking money, mm-hmm. add value, get in shape, look like Derek if you can, or Matt. <laughs> I don't know. And, you know, have some frame as they call it, right? right. What Rolo talks about. It's clear what you got to do. And we just did this at the CME. Make muscles, make money, have frame. Boom. You know what you got to do. 
It's still very unclear what a woman has to do, though. Mm -hmm. Still Follow there. a guy, a man. This is what I'm trying to tell you. It's but so if, easy. But like, but women, like you have Derek to do. said, if your okay. man your says, man. But let me circle okay, back to do something. this, and please, you say please, no. Please, let her finish that point. But if you say follow a man and your man's telling you, quit what you're doing, work, I want you to be a housewife. Now that's and okay. That, but, but you're following your man. that's okay. Man. You follow your man because at sometimes your man knows best. If my man tells me and will tell me, like how he will provide for everything else, how he will fulfill what I have, mm -hmm. then that is okay. You do what your man says. Yuri, I have to ask you a very That's specific exactly. question. Mm. When you say follow your man, you're not married. I'm not married. Are you? There's a big difference between following your husband versus following a boyfriend. It's very wise of you, Adam. Thank you. Wow. Well, you know, because I've been a husband for like a hot minute, but I've mostly been a good boyfriend. Shout out to the ladies out there. So when do you say, all right, I've only been dating this guy for six months, a year. You know, I'm doing. I'm not. I'll tell you I'm not when. following his lead. I just met this guy. No, no. I'll tell you. Obviously, when, when you get married, I can see that. But not if you're dating, when does it happen? If you want to have ch children with that guy or with a female, they're there for you. You know, because you know how your children will be raised, mm -hmm. and that's how I know that guy is for me and I'm for him. You know, we are compatible with each other. We have the same views. We have the same values as well, mm -hmm. like how we want to raise our children, and we have chosen consciously to do that with one another so but how long did that take well mine was you're not doing that in week one for you're not doing that with... in month one well for him and if you are that's problematic for anyone out there yeah. if you're willing to just sacrifice your entire life of someone you met for a week or a month you know, you know it took Guys, Matt six to nine months to draw out the paperwork right? it all comes back <laughs> on the to italian how, restaurant it all comes back to how clear you are and what your goals are right like there is a mm -hmm. time and an age where you just know like the older i get the more i think about how i'm going to raise my children although i don't have any children right now this is mm -hmm. what i have to worry about because do i want to bring, bring children in the world that we live in today well it's questionable i don't know if i want to bring children to this day now yeah but it's not as horrible as i'm decades, making it sound thousands of years true but again have sex can long you, enough you will <laughs> Right. <laughs> Again, we're keeping distracted just by doing different things and not focusing on your main goal. So okay. right now, I don't have time to play around with, you know, like just sleeping with guys or no, I don't have time doing that. And my partner doesn't have time doing that either. And why do I know that? Because we share the same values and we share the same goals. Respect. And we are working towards it. So that's why it doesn't really matter if you're married or not. Again, these are just labels. If you mm -hmm. respect them and you know that you can have children with that person, then they are for you.